Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Anti-Drone Systems are designed to detect, track and neutralize unauthorized drones in a given airspace. These systems employ a variety of technologies such as radar, radio frequency sensors, unmanned units pack both accuracy and high firepower, discharging up to 1,000 rounds every minute. They're equipped with their own sensors, like tracking radar and cameras, and can autonomously tackle targets assigned by SkyMaster. Their unique 35mm ahead ammo ensures they can neutralize even minuscule threats. The system can counteract traditional aircraft, cruise missiles, varied-sized drones, and even ground-to-air missiles. Moreover, it can target motors and artillery rockets within a 2.5-mile or 4-kilometer range. And a real CUAS. Commercial, off-the-shelf drones continue to evolve in complexity and threaten military and civilian safety and disrupt operations. Andoril's end-to-end CUAS system supports the entire kill chain in one easy-to-use interface with precision, accuracy, and reliability. Rogue drones are identified, tracked, and disabled in any environment, day or night. Andoril's goal is to provide human operators with a comprehensive picture, enabling them to make critical decisions quickly. Sentry towers connect to Lattice to detect and track rogue drones threatening perimeters of military bases, large public event venues, or privately managed critical infrastructure. Operators should be making decisions, not correlating data. Once a threat has been identified, Lattice presents clear decision points. A layered approach ensures targets are defeated quickly. Operators are presented with a list of defeat options, from RFFX to EW to kinetic options. If a kinetic defeat is desired, Anvil navigates autonomously to intercept drone threats. Once authorized, Anvil uses physical speed and onboard terminal guidance to deliver kinetic energy to knock out the threat with minimal collateral damage. Sky Ranger 30 The Sky Ranger 30 is a short-range air defense turret system developed by Rheinmetall Air Defense AG, formerly Orlikon, and first revealed in March 2021. Its role is to provide ground units with a mobile system capable of engaging fixed and rotary wing aircraft, Group 1 and 2 unmanned aerial systems, loitering munitions, and cruise missiles. It is fitted with a modified version of the Orlikon KCA 30mm cannon used on the Saab 37 Viggen fighter jet named the KCE. While it has a shorter effective range than the Sky Ranger 35 at 1.8 miles or 3 kilometers, it has a higher rate of fire of 1,200 rounds per minute. It maintains the ability to elevate 85 degrees to combat terminal diving targets. Due to the system's reduced weight, the Sky Ranger 30 turret is able to integrate two short-range surface-to-air missiles, which would be guided by laser beam riding on infrared homing, such as the FIM-92 Stinger or Mistral, as well as the Sky Knight. Depending on the type, missiles extend the range up to 5.5 miles or 9 kilometers, but the gun covers the space under their minimum engagement range. Drone Dome The Drone Dome is a counter-unmanned air system or CUAS anti-aircraft system developed by Israel-based Miltec Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. This system was first displayed in 2016 and joined similar protection systems developed by Rafael such as the Iron Dome. The Drone Dome is an innovative combat-proven counter-drone system designed to detect, track, and neutralize hostile drones, one of the fastest-growing threats that pose serious security concerns to military and civilian sites. It can be operated in all weather conditions and provide 360 degrees of coverage. Operated by a single user, the fully modular system can be deployed as a mobile or stationary unit and can be customized according to the customer's request. Drone Dome's open architecture allows it to be integrated with multiple effectors and sensors. It is designed to detect targets as small as 0.002 meters squared at a range of 2.2 miles or 3.5 kilometers using charge-coupled device infrared automatic video motion detection and automatic target recognition. In the hard kill mode, the C4I system sends the target position to the laser director, which allocates it to the laser effector. The effector locks and tracks the target and emits a laser beam within seconds to destroy the target. Sky Control The Sky Control system is a Polish anti-drone system from the Advanced Protection Systems. The systems are designed to detect, track, and neutralize unmanned aerial vehicles that pose a threat to the security and sovereignty of the country. The Sky Control System is a comprehensive solution that combines 3D radars, sensors, effectors, and a command and control application to monitor the airspace and counter drones. 
the system is modular and configurable. Due to its portable size, low weight, low power requirements, and effectivity, Spear provides counter small unmanned aircraft system capabilities to ground vehicles, fixed platforms, and field troops. Ultra wide bandwidth permits engagement of targets without prior knowledge of specific vulnerabilities, and the system features an ability to disrupt and destroy targets with both front and backdoor coupling. Halka. The Alka Directed Energy Weapon System is a Turkish dual electromagnetic laser weapon developed by Roketsan. It was first unveiled at the 2019 IDEF exhibition on 8th of May 2019. This combat laser was allegedly used to destroy one of GNC's Wing Long 2 UAVs. The Alka is claimed to have a power of 50 kilowatts. It operates both laser and electromagnetic systems. It purportedly uses automatic targeting recognition, utilizing both electro-optical and radar detection to track multiple targets simultaneously. It is claimed by its designers to have the capability to disarm a swarm of drones at a range of 2.5 miles, or 4 kilometers. Destroy a target with laser at 1,640 feet or 500 meters distance and destroy a target at 3,280 feet or 1,000 meters distance with electromagnetic weapons. According to the designers, it can track targets at speeds as high as 93 miles per hour or 150 kilometers per hour, and track targets with a precision of 8 millimeters at 3,280 feet or 1,000 meters distance. Litai Shield The Litai Shield is a ground-based counter unmanned aircraft system developed by Litai Systems, a technology solutions manufacturer and integrator based in the U.S. The CUAS system can detect, identify, track, and disrupt UAS drone systems operating in the air, on the surface, on the ground, and in the electromagnetic spectrum. The shield can be deployed to support a range of missions, such as air-to-ground base defense, protection of convoy, offensive electronic attack, and non-military missions such as wildfire response and defense security. The shield is equipped with the Spyglass 3D radar, electro-optical, and infrared tracking systems. The radar can detect and track small autonomous UAS at a distance of more than 2.2 miles, or 3.5 kilometers. The system is a fully autonomous kill chain that can handle most of the workload in a counter-drone operation, reducing the burden on the operator who needs to intervene only in the decision of whether or not to pull the trigger to engage the threats. Dragonfire The Dragonfire is a British laser-directed energy weapon technology demonstrator. It was first unveiled to the public in 2017 at the Defense and Security Equipment International Conference in London. It is being developed by UK Dragonfire, a collaboration consisting of MBDA UK, Leonardo UK, Kinetic, and the Defense Science and Technology Laboratory. As a technology demonstrator, it will be used to assess laser-directed energy weapons and their potential applications within the British Armed Forces. The Dragonfire uses UK pioneered beam combining technology to deliver a laser beam with increased power density, reducing defeat times and increased effective range. This is achieved in part through the use of tens of glass fibers. However, a full technical approach remains classified. The laser and its associated targeting systems, including an electro-optical camera and second low-power laser for imaging and tracking, are mounted to a turret. The laser reportedly is in the 50 kilowatt class and is designed to defend land and maritime targets from threats such as migrated combat solution, as well as armored vehicles on which all the above equipment is mounted. It reportedly has advanced solutions to physically harm or otherwise disable an aerial threat. According to the developers, the system fires at enemy drones with a machine gun or disables the UAV in other ways. Norway's Kongsberg says it received 56 million euros or 71 million dollars to deliver the new capability to the Ukrainian military. This contract will provide a significant capability boost for the armed forces of Ukraine and will support their ability to protect their people and defend their country against aerial threats, company president Eric Lai explained. Kongsberg did not disclose the precise number of Cortex units under order or the delivery date. Well, that's all, friends. Thanks for watching, and write in the comments which of the anti-drone systems you like the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.